All right, so yesterday you saw us trying to boost the food truck and um, well, we didn't really have time to sit and wait for the battery to charge because traffic hour in the restaurant and the parking lot. So this morning, that's priority. Get that done uh, so we can move the food truck, finish what we need to do and hopefully bring it tomorrow for storage. It's been kind of lacking uh, any motivation to do so but anyways we got to get it done so uh, that's happening today next on the list for today honestly I have a laundry list of things to do that just seems to be getting bigger and bigger as the day goes on I'm leaving on a trip next week so I got tons of things I got to go get for that we also got to get our promotions done uh, that we're gonna start to offer to the restaurants in the next coming months to see what they're gonna do uh, we give them usually a couple options dollar days, uh, prize giveaways, 21 days of prizes, which is really fun uh, promotion we do where every day of the month, for a whole month, we give away prizes, everything from free meals to uh, movie tickets to iPads, TVs, Playstations, Xboxes. So that's something we're going to work on today, get that organized. And then honestly, this is the restaurant business. You never know what's going to happen next. So yesterday I was expecting to get, a, to get a lot done. Turns out I was working all day in the kitchen. So we'll see where things go from here. But that's the day so far. Here goes nothing. Yeah. I didn't show this yesterday, but we have started a little uh, sticker collection in here from all the events that we've been to and companies that, uh, familiarity, companies that um, are at events that we are at. So that's our little fun wall. We need some more stickers. So lesson one for the day, don't procrastinate. Uh, when we have finished our season with the food truck, clean it, get it to storage, don't slack. Lesson number two, Never stop drinking espresso. It's the best. Where are we going, Nins? We are going to St. Eustache. Why, you ask? Well, that is because our genius sauce meister, Kenny, locked his keys in the sauce truck. So we gotta go bring him the spare. <laughs> Here. All right, here we are, St. Eustache. This was one of the first restaurants that uh, we opened, so you'll see. Where's the... Actually, this is our only location right now that sells alcohol. Uh, we sell beer and it's pretty cool. We're hoping to introduce it to more restaurants, but we'll see. We're doing a, it's like a pilot project. Hopefully it does well. If it does well, we'll introduce it elsewhere. But we're we're still testing out. But so far the reaction seems to be number one. Bagels. It's nice to try out other restaurants when we're uh, around visiting. Even though we can eat our our burgers every day, and we do, we're always testing out new waters. So, this is her discovery. I like the Look, they have like this thing. Which is really cool. And it's run by the owner. She's here all the time. Mmm, delicious. It's a great idea because nowadays that's Made by yeah. this lovely lady. Thank you so much. So, that bagel place, the lady you just saw, she's the owner. She pretty much runs that place by herself. Um, Really cool, we're about to eat the bagels. I haven't had it yet. Apparently they're really good. Um, which, anyways, this whole thing kind of get me 
a flashback of an idea I had that I would really like to try to introduce and I want to have segments where I speak to business owners, um, professionals and just do like mini little interviews so we'll see how that works. Uh, she seemed interested but she's very shy so we'll see if I get a call back for that now. Mm. Time to eat. <laughs> Alright, so that was actually delicious and one of the best bagel sandwiches I've had in I think almost forever. So props to her. I don't even know her name. Do you know her name? I didn't ask her name. Pola. Ola? Pola. <laughs> Pola? Is it? Okay, Pola. You did a great job. Maybe it's Paula. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's not Paula. It's Paula. <laughs> just Paula. Just Paula. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so uh, yeah, we really like supporting local businesses. We were a local business, and if it wasn't for people like you, like us, you know, helping to support that, we would have never gotten to where we were today. So it's really nice when you find these little businesses and you go help them out. Um, we know what it's like in the restaurant business to try to make a name for yourself, to put out a good product. So it's like with pleasure I give my money to people like that. And I wish her the best of success. It's really delicious, really good. If you're ever in St. Eustache, definitely check it out. Uh, it's I don't know the name of the street, but it's where all the dealers are off of the 640. Um, anyways, you could just take check out Bagel St. Eustache. Google it because Google's your friend. Um, yeah. All right, it's luggage shopping time. We're at the bay. Going up the escalator. They, it normally is lighter than a hard yeah. side. Um, and you have the outside pockets. Yeah. Three. All right, so we just left and we had probably the nicest bay sales lady ever. Her name was Rosemary and she just so happened to be a big fan of our burgers. So Rosemary, thank you. Uh, she let me know that the actual sale for luggage starts tomorrow and it goes all the way up to like 90% some of the stuff. So why would I buy today when I can save tomorrow? So I'll be back tomorrow for the purchase and uh, hopefully I'll find something really good. Well, we're almost finished wrapping the food truck up for the season. Getting we did it! <laughs> getting her ready to store it for the winter and call it the year. What you do, their needs. Signing up for Chicago. Oh yeah. Are you at least 21? Yes. What is your industry? Restaurant food service. Done. Woo! Yeah. Confirmed. There you go. Alrighty, so successful day today. We did everything on the list that I had to do, which I'm very happy with. We booked our tickets, we got the food truck all done, we just have to bring it for storage. Hopefully tomorrow, see if they have spot, they're gonna let us know. If not, it's gonna go into next week. Um, what else? Went for my luggage. Uh, everything's done. Right? Everything's done? I don't know. She doesn't know. But everything's done. I gotta make change. So, I gotta go finish up some stuff, but I'm out for the night, so peace.